Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Wizardry 7 Crusaders of the Dark Savant. Last time, we were uh, here still in Orc Ogre. And uh, I feel like maybe I was going to do some resting. So we're, uh, we're a little banged up. But, um... Yeah, we just let... <laughs> I can't remember what his name was. We'll, we'll see the sign on the way through, I guess. Oh, alright. It's, uh, oh, it's Ralic again. I think we saw him last time, or was it Lurix that was here? I think it was Ralic. Um, is there, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was him. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about what he's up to. We'll just let him be on his way. Um, anyway, yeah, we, uh, we let a monkey go. A killer ape of some kind, I believe. <laughs> if, uh, if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, so, we'll see <laughs> what, if any, repercussions that has. Uh, we used some of our bananas to make that happen. Or I guess really our only bananas. So I hope we don't need any more. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess we're, we're just hoping that this leads to something, because otherwise we're at a bit of an impasse, uh, it feels like. So let's uh, see what's in this room and get uh, get going here. All right. So we got the switch that he pulled, of course. Uh, we should, actually, before I forget, just get um, one of these going here. Uh, yep, that'll work. Just in case. But it seems like there's not really anything going on there, so what about here? Aha. Push the button. And then what? I don't know. Gorkunga. Uh, was, yeah, that was open before, here we go, this is new, okay. Uh, I actually am gonna go, I just wanna... Okay, we can't interact with that at all, just thought I would check. Just in case, the throne room. One of the faint, distant auras of burning candles are visible beyond the gate. So that's how we get there. It does feel like there's a, there's a fair bit we haven't seen yet. But if uh, this leads us to the king, then so be it, I guess. Shadows dance upon the walls of the dark and gloomy cathedral, and emptiness pervades the chamber deep within every crevice. Faded tapestries illuminated by the candlelight depict scenes of warring tribes and victorious battles, and you glimmer that these <laughs> represent eras of history now long past. Once this masterful stateroom was no doubt a bustle of activity, filled with endless politics and head-rolling decisions. Now, only the lone figure silhouetted upon the distant throne, somber forlorn, staring out as if pondering thoughts a million miles away, breaks through the depression which so clouds this desolate, desperate arena. Spicy. So, looking maybe not oh so good for the Gorn, eh? Alright, well, let's see. Approaching the hunched and staring figure perched upon his throne of twine and bone, he gives no motion, acknowledging your presence, but, in a deep, guttering whisper, begins to speak. This is uh, our guy. So the gods have decided to put the old king out of his misery at last, eh? Look you now upon this soulful guise, but once it were not so. How the orchard blossoms have faded in the fields, Though my army still stands strong, their strength is but a shallow weakness, for their spirit is broken. And now they wage war upon themselves, having lost that fleeting essence which fuels the heart, makes possible all loves and desires. The vision of their destiny has been broken, shattered by the crushing presence of you who come from the stars. What grim irony that your visage now stands so mockingly before me. Shall you be the ghosts of my tormentors to haunt my dreams in the hereafter? Or merely be you that came to put the sword in my heart and end this mortal suffering. I see it all now so clear. Worlds within worlds continually unfolding, the boundaries of time crossed and overlapping as easily as one might step from the garden into the forests. Like simple fish in the oceans flipping and darting, living out their days unaware of the unseen universes which lie in the sky above their heads, so near and yet so far, how likened unto every man that all these galaxies swing and orbit around him continually in his sight and yet never seen nor glimpsed, 
save that small portion which leaks into his momentary vision and burrs a thousand hails of miracles, etc. I pray you grant this king these ramblings. Would that I could take my mind and thrust it upon you, but instead am forced to fling only the feeble stones of words. But tell me, strangers, what cause brings you this day? Ah, uh, we gotta check the notes. I don't, I don't remember the password, so to speak. Let's, uh, let's just have a quick look here. All right, I found it. It wasn't from Gallier, it was from Beauregard. That's right. Uh, the Dartine, nope. Alliance is broken. What's this? The Dartine Alliance at end? Then the prophecy is indeed come. So be it. We shall all play our part as was foretold, and meet in the infernos of the hereafter. But perhaps there be slack enough for dangerous sport with the oracles in this. For who is to say that an end is not but a gateway to some new beginning, and the pages yet unread be but deliberately concealed? I think I see much mischief in the fates, and perhaps it not be too late to learn their game. But what say you? Be you willing to take a part? Ah, well, we came all this way. Then listen close and be quick. There be a sacred place of parch or a sacred piece of parchment in my possession, and methinks more mischievous deeds it can do in your hands than mine own. I grant you, do as you will with it. For once the writings be done, it is then that we players may yet learn to depart from the script. In my bedchamber lies a secreted wall. Hurry there, and therein find the gate which fits this key. You will inside find what you seek. Ulu gets an item. Now go away, or go now away. In me the seeds of new plans do quickly sprout, and methinks I shall find further sport amongst my own troops. Whew! It's an intense, uh, that's an intense alien man. <laughs> okay. Gave us a key. Gave us a, a piece of paper as well, I believe. Key of the Gorn King. Special item. Let's look at this steel plate. No idea what that's for just yet. Um, did we get anything else? I thought he said he had a piece of paper. But, um... Perhaps not? Got the letter of Beauregard, like, none of that's it, none of that's new stuff. So I think... I don't know, I think we're okay? <laughs> um, or is our inventory so full we can't carry anything? I wasn't really paying attention. Let's just double check... Here, just make sure there's nothing on the ground. Okay, I think we're... I think we're alright. Um, so now we got to find the dude's bedroom. Uh, is it, uh, this isn't a bedroom, but at the same time, it is a gate. <laughs> uh, aha. All right. Well, it was worth a try. Let's, let's um, continue on and uh, see if we can figure out where this is used. Exactly. We know that. There is, uh, there's here, um, haven't figured out how to get in there. Oh, a troop of Gorn soldiers surrounds the area in front of you. Sallying forth from their midst, you see a regal figure. Hail, brave warriors. The warfare is poorly for our side. I fear that we are doomed. Oh, it's King Olgar. We just talked to you, man. <laughs> uh, what, can we trade with you? What do you have? Spear, all pike. Quilt tunic, leather hauberk, studded hauberk. This is an opportunity to actually sell some crap. What was I going to sell? Definitely, like, we got some extra gear that we don't need. I'm just going to, I just got to find it. So I'm going to clean up my inventory a little bit as best I can here from memory. And um, maybe we'll talk to him for a little bit, see if we can get anything else out of him. All right, I've cleaned out our inventory a fair bit. Uh, we're getting close to getting uh, back to 10,000 gold again in case we have to buy another map piece. Uh, hello. What are you uh, doing? I seek 
to save our empire from the tragedy of civil war. What empire? I mean, we we all know this, but uh, civil war now ravages our land and army. Uh, the fall of the Goran Empire. Um, what? Uh, where are we? Where have you been? Can't say. Uh, uh, what do you think about monks? Okay, he thinks he's okay with monks. I wonder what they're doing with <laughs> monk flesh, monk jerky <laughs> in their food stores, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so... Uh, um, um, what do you think about the Trang? Doesn't like him. What do you think about Umpani? Right. They're wary of the Umpani. And then, uh, what about Danes? So they don't like the Danes either, right? Okay. Uh, I don't really know. I don't have much to ask this guy right now that I can think of. Um, I guess I could ask him about the wizard, actually, maybe. I'm going to just check the notes and remember what his name was exactly. Mercatos, uh, I believe. Do you know Mercatos? Once the great wizard of Gorn, now a pile of bones. Mercatos is dead. Who killed Mercatos? Betrayer betrayed. What betrayal? Oh, that's how you <laughs> spell that or not. What betrayer? Yeah. Um. All right. Fair enough. Um. We'll do uh, any any rumors. <laughs> King's, King's shaking us down for fifty gold pieces. Why not? About civil war. Okay. Where? So we already know about that. Um. I'm guessing we can probably get away with a mind read on him. Um, so we'll we'll try it and see how things go. Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna leave him be, and uh, we're gonna save our game. Ah, you idiot. <laughs> I'll probably have cut out some of this uh, <laughs> episode because uh, there's a freaking stairs right in front of me. Good God. All right, so where does this take me? Is this uh, seems like we've explored this, but at the same time, perhaps not. Ah, okay. I'll stay asleep. Right. Okay. Now I remember. <laughs> Now I remember. So we found the, uh, yeah, we found this already. So I think we just got to use our key right here, right? Yes, indeed. So what do we get out of this? Let's, let's, um, be cautious here and, uh, see just, um, just what we got here. So you can take a look at this. We'll do an in inspect here. So we know certainly those three. Not sure about the other one there. It's looking like anti-magic probably. Yeah. Okay. So first one's first. Then we go ba-boom. And then uh, like so. Disarm the trap, open in the ancient chest, you wipe away the webs and find an old parchment sealed in wax. Carefully removing the wax, you determine that the parchment is only a single piece that has been cut from a larger map. You find no other companion pieces in the chest. One parchment, and we actually found a freaking map piece, <laughs> I think. How about that? Um, let's give that to Fempo. And hey, we get a ninja level. We'll take it. All right, let's just handle this real quick. Uh, give you some of that. 
sling? Are there any good slings in, the, <laughs> in this game? I actually have no idea. Sure. Have some, uh, have some sling. Um, here, I think I was giving you some more of that, because everything else is fine. Um, then a couple points there. And I think I was just giving you more crit. New ninja spells? Stink bomb or draining cloud? The choices, the choices. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, question mark parchment. Parchment. Let's say the temple map, apparently. Um, let's read it. Alright, Temple. The complexities of life do distract and disorient, and these shall know the turmoil of fear and uncertainty. He that hath not foundation shall in wandering suffer, while he that hath sanctuary shall know peace and stability. Discover thee the builder that thee may light these eyes. For rooted in he lies the knowledge of structure, from encircling waters rest thee the works of stones. As thee make sacrifice twixt all the four corners, thy labor shall not be in vain, for the opaque yielded from the stone will be transformed, and thee shall behold the radiant light. Thus may one discover a haven, and assuredly travel onward. Thus may one discover thyself, and assuredly travel through life. Fascinating. Nerd. Got quite the map collection going. Still got a few to go, I, I imagine, but, um... We've, uh, we've got four so far, it looks like. So, okay, nothing else in there, but hey, you know what? Feel, feel pretty good about actually getting to claim one <laughs> map piece uh, out of this whole shebang, so that's pretty good. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Um, aside from try to get into some of these other rooms that we can't get into. So, somebody did mention that we have the item to get into Mercados' area. But, uh, I have no idea what that is. We'll come back here another time, I guess. Um, because I don't really know what it is that I'm missing. Uh, if I'm being honest with you. So... Uh, yeah, I think I think we've done what we can do here for now. Um, maybe... Uh, like Gallia or anybody else has anything, maybe, or maybe they have new stuff to say. There's also, like, other areas that we could probably explore out here in the forest. So, uh, there's that as well to consider. So we'll do a little fighting here and just, uh, we'll just see what we see. There's definitely other places that we can explore right now. We've got... Uh, we've had this mission to go blow up the Terang for like forever. The Terang Queen or whatever. We might be not high enough level for that one yet. We've got... Um, the Ratkin Ruins that we've been hearing about. I can't remember if we have any specific task there. But it's somewhere I'm interested in checking out. And then um, we've got the uh, the Monkarama City as well that we haven't uh, that we haven't done anything with. So yeah, we only got the password for that just before setting out to here. All right, moving right along. Let's go ahead and uh, ah, maybe go this way. How about that? And get into a fight. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Okay, this is going to be a little annoying. I have a plan, though. You can probably guess what that plan is. We're going to do a little bit of that. We're going to do... Uh, I thought you had one, too. I, <laughs> I, I, uh, I guess not. Could have sworn she had one. Whatever, doesn't matter, just, uh, just fight those guys, I guess. Uh, you don't... Oh, you do have it, yeah, okay. We're just gonna do a few of these. Maybe you can do a, uh... 
a mind flight. Oh, we, we should, you know, we never cast that spell. Maybe we should give that a try. Um, that's fine, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's not an instant kill. It just does damage. Maybe should have rethought that one. That's all right. Killed a lot of them still. A little itching skin, which is a bit annoying. Ah, it's not high enough level. That's unfortunate. All right, fair enough. You should still be able to kill these guys, like, without too much trouble. <laughs> Just their spells might get really annoying. So what do we have left? Still got a couple rangers left. We'll just, uh, we'll just take these guys out the old-fashioned way, and then maybe you just do one of, like, those. And then you can try maybe one of those, and then you... Uh, give me just a base level one of those. See what happens here. <laughs> one of them wisely runs away just before the nuke comes down. <laughs> All right, one last guy. Okay, we got a spear out of that. I don't want it. I uh, I could identify it, but it's just like almost definitely going to be a regular spear, or maybe an all pike if we're quote unquote extremely lucky. <laughs> so I'm not too too not too worried about that. Uh, it's a lot of guys again. So all right, I guess we'll uh, this time we'll have every. Buddy, hide. We'll just see here. It's like one of those is a set of rangers, though. Hopefully, we figure that out sooner than later for exactly that reason. Okay, well, it's. Those are those are the Rangers. I'm reasonably reasonably certain of that. Um, you go ahead and maybe we try a big fat whirlwind on them. And then here we do like a big fat one of those, and then also though we do one of these. See how that goes. Starting to use our magic uh, pretty frequently here. We'll probably rest after this as well, get some stamina back and just, in general, get a little magic, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, that seems to be effective against the Spearman. All right, just Rangers left. I th oh, no, not quite. We still got a, got a few guys left. Go ahead and take out these guys like so. This should be enough. All right, good stuff. All right, bard level for you. Um, hopefully we can make use of this because I don't remember exactly what it is that he needed. Uh, let's see. I think I was giving you a little bit more music still. Mind control and uh, your theology could be better. Yes, we'll give you some of that. Bard spells, what do we got? We actually have some good stuff here. Uh, 
Um, I think I'm going to grab this Astral Gate just in case. And let's just go ahead and do a little bit of healing, I think. And then we'll do a little bit of resting as well. Just with whoever has a few spare magic points here, that's probably good enough. All right, we'll we'll roll with that, and uh, just keep on looking around for a bit, I guess, just to see what, if anything, is out here. Not really sure what I'm expecting to find, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just we'll just have to see. see there's a ton of stuff out here. Whoa, back to venom weevils, are we? That's probably a good thing overall. Well, they're a little tankier than I remember. It's been a bit. All right. Not too bad. Let's see what else we've got out here. Looks like this might be a dead end. Yep, okay. So, one mystery solved, and that leads us actually back to the road. Okay. I'm not going to take the road. I'm going to instead uh, fill out the rest of this forest area, I think. Just in the off chance that there's something good here. I'm also going to try the try casting... Uh, that. What does that do? Maybe I have to do it for... Might, might have to do it from this screen, actually. Ma oh, shit! <laughs> Make the pick is dead! Uh, okay. That's, that's interesting to know. Somebody took him out, I guess. That's, uh... That's interesting. I wonder who it was. So this is going to lead us back just a more forest area, fair enough. That leads us back to the road. Okay, good stuff. So I'm just going to see if I can finish filling out this side of things. Looks like, she, looks, looks like maybe we did. I wonder if that's a different road up there, though. I don't know. I'm assuming this area of the road we did fill out almost completely. Missed one one spot right there. Had to go get it. All right, glow mothras. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's all right. I think we can still uh, maybe handle this. She's already asleep. But now she's just sleeping. Oh, well, awake and poisoned. She got her turn back somehow. That's interesting. It's all right. We can, we can cure that poison. Not a big deal. This guy's might be a little tougher than I thought, though. Maybe should have done some magic or some buffing or something. That's right, because they shoot webs. They paralyze you as well. And then they put you to sleep. All right, now well, we've got them, got them halfway done. It's not too bad. Seems like our levels are mind control. Skill points are finally paying off, though. I remember a time when getting hit with that glowing aura was guaranteed uh, nap time. All right. Almost there.
Come on, punch that moth. There we go. Uh, let's, before I forget, <laughs> let's cure that poison. Uh, no, that's paralysis. I think poison is on this side. Yeah. Uh, on you. Hopefully that'll take care of that. Yep. All right. Good stuff. Let's just cruise on up over this way. We've explored that entire right side, actually. So we'll just go along the road here. Probably be a few encounters, I would expect. On the, uh, the road itself. Uh, we already explored there. Oop. One little nook there. And more Gorns. I'm actually going to try and just run from this one, maybe. We'll just see what happens. Everybody's running from everybody, I guess. These might be some really easy Gorn, but... Eh, I just don't want to fight him. <laughs> right now. I just want to fill in some, some more of the map if I can. I mean, if we get a Force Encounter, then, uh, you know, so be it, but... Otherwise, I'd rather just make a little bit more progress here. Looks like this might wrap around. As expected. Oh no, that's, that's too many moths. <laughs> we might... We might re reload that one. We'll see. We'll see if, if anybody gets away. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, actually. So I'll tell you what, let's just, uh, let's just try that one again. I'm expecting that probably there's always going to be an encounter on this tile. Indeed, it looks like that is the case. Here we go. Bugs instead. I think maybe we can live with bugs. All right, there we go. Um, I guess we're going to go for this group first. I don't know if there's any difference between them exactly, but just in case. And you know what? Why don't you give me, give me one of those, uh, one of those, and then one of those. Oh, okay. I guess I maybe overestimated, <laughs> overestimated my... Opponents ever so slightly here. These, uh, these are not the tough bugs. <laughs> not at all. I think also maybe we better get you healed up a little bit more as well, just in case. You're a bit, a bit too low for my taste. Uh, let's actually also take a look at our map. So it looks like we're going... I don't know. Maybe through there, but I think we already went that way. I think we might be headed through that way. Toward like Nyctolinth or, or, or something like that. I guess we'll see exactly where this road takes us in a second here. Let's get those squares taken care of. Get that one. Okay, we got a little bit of an extra area here. Doesn't go anywhere though. Yeah, I'm not not exactly sure where this is taking us. Let's see more Gorns. I'm gonna try a run here. We'll see what happens. Not sure if this is a force encounter tile or not. There are some rangers by, by the looks of it. Of 
Could have sworn somebody got away there, but I guess not. Oh, well, I guess it was one of them. <laughs> Let's just, uh... Try this again. So it was here. And then here. Yeah, okay, so there is always an encounter there. And this time it's even more Gorn. Alright, well, well, we'll try it again. We'll see if we can get maybe just a, a couple less here. <laughs> or two giant lizards. Sure, we haven't seen lizards in a while. They're repopulating, I guess. <laughs> Alright, easy fight. That's what we like to see. Little chunk of XP there. People probably are leveling up pretty soon here. Actually, they should take a look at you. What can you even become? You can become a lord. I think that's probably what's going to happen here. Looks like you got the stats you needed. Um, and there's probably not really a whole lot of reason to hold off on that. I'm not going to do it right now, I guess. It's not that big a deal. We're getting pretty low XP encounters. Whoop. Um, pretty low XP encounters here, so we're not really wasting too terribly much. But yeah, I guess, um, I guess for now we're just going to keep on exploring where this road takes us. And, uh, when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll follow it to, to wherever it leads. And, uh, hopefully that's somewhere that we actually want to be. Um, otherwise... Uh, we'll have to turn around and probably head, to, uh, head over to, uh, to Monkorama and uh, see what that city's all about.